Welcome to Golden Ratio Estimating. This demo is for our pipeline estimating tool. The tool is structured by typical crew base approach, where database is divided in three main sections of projects, spreads, and their respective crews for each spread. Further sections are labor, equipment, and miscellaneous elements for each crew and project material. So here we start how to prepare an estimate quickly. Project code, meaning project header information. Steel costs, $2,000 per ton. Joint type, all that good information that is required, project start date and project end date, uh, whatever that would be, okay. and the region of the project. Once the project header is populated, then we have to populate our spreads. So each project have or could have multiple spreads, uh, typically one. So let's populate typical or spread information. Region of the spread, spread description, size of the pipe, length of the pipe for this spread. For demo purpose, we'll use the full length and any related information, camp costs, catering costs, gas per liter used, diesel per liter used, so on and so forth. Now that we have populated the spread, the next section we have to populate is the crews for this spread. So one way is that we can populate crew one by one here, or the system allows us to import crew values from the typical crews that are resided in the libraries of the system. So let's do that. So system gives us the option of importing the all typical crews that are residing in the library. Uh, but for the demo purpose, we will use just selected crew. So just a couple of crews and export. So system automatically brings the crew that we selected from typical crew and calculate its uh, relevant information accordingly. Uh, shift production per day uh, and system is smart enough based on the, the production and the total length to calculate how many work days it will require, weather days, Sundays, move, demove days, and total calendar days. A uh, few information or background automatically calculated in some mob and demob in this case can be um, changed uh, as per our requirement. <clears throat> Same thing, some start date, end date for this crew uh, and now, now that we have populated the uh, crew 
information. The further section is the labor equipment and, and miscellaneous items for that crew. So system allows us two different methods to compute uh, the subsections. One is right here, we can prepare our own labor equipment and miscellaneous composition based on our execution. Or the best way, as you notice here, the system is bringing the entire labor library, which is resided uh, again at the back end. Same thing with the equipment. We can bring, you know, populate uh, all the equipment based on the library that is resided in the back end, miscellaneous, same way. But the quick method to use the system is basically we can import uh, labor and equipment, which helps us expedite the estimating effort. So let's do that, import labor for this crew, which is typical labor, and also import equipment for this labor, for this crew. So as you notice, system automatically calculates based on the typical crew that we have uh, populated in, in our library and its subsequent values depending on our duration uh, and length. So miscellaneous we don't have so let's populate some miscellaneous here. Let's put some allowances for small tools. Again you notice there is a library which is populated based on whatever the percentage that you define and the values that you define. So in this case 5% uh, for small tools which, which which can be changed or have we can have multiple values to select from so like that system automatically calculates what that is the basic function at this point is sitting as whatever the base labor is the five percent of that would be the miscellaneous uh, small tool items so let's add another item say miscellaneous uh, uh, consumables and in that case, we have populated, we're saying $300 per day. Again, can be changed. And off we go. Here it is, the, the complete labor equipment and crew done. So basically, this estimate for this, this uh, construction section is complete. Now, if the other sections are pipe, so we can calculate the pipe here. The system has different sizes and its values accordingly. So it's 24 inch. Um, pipe with wall thickness, let's see, 6.9 millimeter and length is say 150,000 meters for this uh, section or for this, this wall thickness and system is smart enough to calculate the OD uh, weight per meter and the total weight and, and accordingly the, uh, the pipe cost. So rest, let's say 24 inch of eight inch we have or oh, eight me eight millimeter we have for twenty five thousand meters that's a little bit thicker pipe and the rest is twenty four inch that's the nine uh, millimeter of twenty five hundred so that makes us two hundred kilometer of pipe so here it is, the value is calculated. Now, if we have valve assemblies uh, for our project, again, the libraries are in the back end. So let's see, we do have main uh, mainline block valves for this. So 24 inch mainline block valve, the values or the cost for the assemblies are, are residing in the library, which is again, user defined. Here we go, system calculates automatically the interval, how much it, it is, user defined again. So in this case, 208 we need, and it automatically calculates the price. Let's see, we have some associated material for 24 inch. Let's see, we have some river waste that we needed and whatever the quantity required. 200 river weights needed. Uh, that's add some some other things uh, for 24 inch like the saddle weights we need for buoyancy control 
and let's say 200 we need that as well so offer your associated material as well if there is any miscellaneous items that require you can populate that as well at the miscellaneous material and 10 quantity unit meter thousand dollars per meter off we go so in reality that's about it like you know for if we had just one crew and th this is how long it takes to prepare the estimate so the estimate is complete and uh, we can see the values right here well, however much the the value for this crew is labor equipment material and same here we can see how much the material is material will remain for the project and the uh, cost here will remain for the for the crew now that we have prepared our estimate let's see the report so here it is the project report in among other reports so just for the damn purpose we're going to look at the project report select our project and the report comes here project information material related to that project spread information uh, crew information and the within the crew elements you can you know equipment labor miscellaneous all that we have done so here it is the estimate uh, there are <clears throat> several uh, functions behind the system and that is all the libraries how to populate and how uh, that is functioning and being set up uh, that can be discussed upon uh, your interest and you can call us uh, contact golden ratio estimating if you're interested uh, to learn further about this tool we would be very happy to explain the full uh, detail of the tool thank you for watching and have a nice day.